Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I just wanted to make a quick little video about why I am starting a YouTube channel and um, why maybe this year is kind of the perfect time to start getting things in order. Um, I've been a designer for a little over six, seven years now, and it never really felt right from the beginning. And maybe that's because I chose it because I thought that it would make me more money right off the bat, which I was correct. Um, but kind of looking back at it now, I sort of realized that making money as, or starting out as a graphic designer actually is a good choice. Um, albeit one that I wasn't really conscious of <laughs> um, before I started transitioning now uh, into an illustrator. And I kind of just want to document this process of this new journey of taking the leap and trying out something that I have always enjoyed, but perhaps was too afraid that I would never succeed in it, or maybe that I'm not talented enough. Or that no one would be interested in what I produce and it would be all for nothing. Um, but now with my years of experience piling up and trying to make some new life decisions um, as I'm rounding up to my 30s, I just want to make a change. I don't want to stick in the same routine anymore. Um, feels like I'm kind of completed a certain journey in my 20s and I'm moving on towards something new. Maybe something even more, a, a little bit more risky. And I feel like a lot of times there are people who have so much determination and they're able to figure this out at such an early age and have so much confidence in what they want to do and where they want to go. And that is definitely not me. <laughs> I am a person who just takes things into, I don't know, careful consideration. I don't take risk. I don't do anything that frightens me or scares me or causes me anxiety um and yet here i am trying to push myself out of that comfort zone and into the unknown um and i think it'll just be an interesting journey and i wanted to start a youtube video so that i can start documenting all of these changes that will happen in this coming this new year i suppose um as well as the next oncoming few years um and yeah so I'm pretty still, I'm still pretty new to this, so things are going to be a little shaky in the beginning, which I always anticipate. Um, anytime anyone takes the first leap, it's always the most messy. You make the most mistakes, you probably feel the most disappointment. <laughs> um, but that's just the process and I'm not going to worry too much about it. So starting off, I'm just going to be uploading one video a week just because that is the only amount of time that I have to kind of uh, make these videos and edit them and finally post them up. I still have some other things on my plate, some very exciting new stuff this year that I have planned for and hopefully things will turn out in my favor or maybe it'll lead me down a path that's even more interesting or something that I've not anticipated before. Most of my videos are going to just be this um, either overhead shot or just me making an illustration um, and just having a voiceover, mostly because I have no experience shooting videos. Um, but also, I do want to uh, get more into illustration, and so I'm going to be spending my time doing some illustration and then just having a bit of a conversation about what happened this week, um, where I am on my journey, any new changes, any new insights, all that fun stuff. So I am not the best at talking about myself, so these videos might end up being short, um, but maybe over time I'll figure out a better way to talk about my current journey. Um, but for, for the time being, um, what I really want to do is just start transitioning from my role as a UX UI designer or, or graphic designer and start moving more into art and illustration, getting into more painting, um, children's book illustrations, and writing a comic, a webcomic, which I would think would be pretty fun or a good hobby to have now. And 
the funny thing is I've always been a person who was in love with illustration and drawing and making comics since I was a kid um, and it's funny how things just circle back now <laughs> that you get older and you start realizing oh I guess all those things I liked as a kid happen to be things that I will continue to do as an adult <laughs> um, no surprise there but as I continued on this journey, especially from last year, I spent an entire year focused on just trying to figure out who I was because I felt very lost for a while. And I suffered from depression and anxiety for the past couple of years because I just couldn't figure out exactly who I was anymore. I felt like I had no, really no control over who I was. Everything I said seemed to be wrong. And it just kind of felt like I just didn't know who I was or where I even wanted to go or why I was even here in the first place. And I think it's because I've spent way too long trying to, you know, live up to the expectations of family and friends and loved ones and trying to be this person that everyone else would would love, but not being the person that I would love. And that's kind of where this journey all started is figuring out what it is I want, who I am, and now this year implementing that, even though it can be quite daunting just starting out. Um, but I think it will be quite an exciting journey or something that will be kind of fun to try out. You only live your life once. I think you should, at least if you feel called to, then you should try to pursue your dreams or at least explore it and so that you don't end up regretting it at a later stage in life. At least that's kind of where my mind is at right now. So that's all I have for my first video. <laughs> Thank you if you actually clicked and watched this video. I really appreciate it. Um, but otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day or evening or whatever time it is where you are at. And um, if you want to listen more to my journey, then please uh, like and subscribe below. And thank you.